Question 1. In ITIL v3 a help desk is a component of a service desk. Justify this statement. Answer. A help desk with ITIL v3 best practices is one component of the overall service management and will feed information to a service desk through software and process hooks. Specifically, the functions outlined in the service operations section of the ITIL core service life cycles are help desk functions. These functions include 1. Event management. 2. Incident management 3 request management 4 problem management 5 access management Question 2. What are 5 ITIL core service life cycles? Answer. The processes outlined in ITIL v3 are broken down into 5 ITIL core service life cycles. 1. Service strategy evaluate current services and ensure a plan is in place to modify and implement new and existing services when required. 2. Service design evaluate and ensure a new service will meet current and future needs. Ensure a new service can be introduced into the live environment. 3. Service Service transition. Define a plan that ensures no service outages or gaps during a service transitions. Question 3. What is service desk? Answer. A service desk is a single point of contact between users and IT service management. It manages information delivery by utilizing Information IT Infrastructure Library ITIL, v3 best practices to deliver these services both with software and defined processes. The service desk is the first contact in an organization for any and all IT questions. Best practices service desks are process focused and company strategy focused. Question 4. A help desk focuses on end user needs. Justify this statement. Answer. A help desk provides incident management to ensure customers' problems are resolved in a timely fashion. A best practices help desk utilizes software to track the incidents making sure that no trouble gets lost. It manages a database that keeps track of the IT assets enabling access on a real-time basis to information about software and configuration of the IT system. The help desk has the ability to create monthly and annual reports on the number of troubles. Question 5. What tasks are performed by help desk? Answer. Some of the specific tasks a help desk performs include 1. Computer or software consultations 2. Change and configuration management 3. Problem escalation procedures 4. Problem resolution 5. Single point of contact SPOC for IT interruptions 6. Service level agreement 7. Tracking capabilities of all incoming problems. Question 6. What should an sala contain? Answer. 1. Service times. 2. Required types and levels of support. 3. Service level requirements. Targets. 4. Mandated technical standards and specification of the technical service interface. 5. Responsibilities. 6. Costs and pricing. 7. Change history. 8. List of annexes. Question 7. Can you name three types of testing? Answer. Types of testing. 1. Usability testing. 2. Accessibility testing. 3. Pro Process Testing 4. Stress and Load Testing 5. Availability Testing 6. Compatibility Testing 7. Security Testing 8. Regression Testing. Question 8. What inputs do we need before we can being testing a service? Answer. Service Package 1. SLP 2. Interface Definitions for the Service Provider 3. Release Plans 4. Acceptance Criteria. Question 9. Why would you use change management? Answer. We use change management to standardize our methods and procedures for dealing with changes and thereby reducing risk and disruption. We record all changes to assets or confirmation items in the configuration management system. This allows us to define and agree on those changes and ensure that only people who have the appropriate authority can make changes. Question 10. What type of information would you store in the service catalog? Answer. The service catalog contains a list of services that an organization provides, often to its employees or customers. For each service within the catalog, we typically include description, time frames or SLA for fulfilling the service, owners, who is entitled to request, view the service, costs and how to fulfill the service. Question 11. When would we create a service design package? Answer. An SDP is produced for each new IT service, major change, or IT service retirement. Question 12. Why do we need CSFS? Answer. Critical success factor, CSF, is the term for an element that is necessary for an organization or project to achieve its mission. It is what drives the company forward through its strategy. 
Question 13. What is an OLA? Answer. The operational level agreement is an agreement between an IT service provider and another part of the same organization. This could be the development team, the support team or help desk. Question 14. Why would you use SACM? Answer. SACM stands for Service Asset and Configuration Management. By capturing information and keeping it up to date, we help people make informed decisions at the right time. In addition, providing accurate configuration information can proactively help resolve incidents and problems much faster. Question 15. In your opinion, what should an SLA contain? Answer. 1. Service name. 2. Clearance information. With location and date. 3. Contract duration. 4. Description. Desired customer outcome. 5. Service and asset criticality. 6. Reference to further contracts which also apply e.g. SLA master agreement.